Hi guys, the best thing about Pointable is that it allows you to tie your application to objects or spaces that reminds you of its functions. For example, I've tied my webcam here to my web to my social applications such as Twitter, Facebook, or Gmail. And the space around it, I've uh, tied it to my browser applications. So by default, um, Pointable has already uh, define seven physical pointables around your screen but as you can see right now I have difficulty to reach the pointables on my right because by default pointables is being calibrated for a single screen setup now the best way to calibrate a pointable is just to be somewhere near the lead motion controller as you can see our pointable, our pointable configuration is just below the screen here and then uh, our stationary or productivity pointable I just around uh, on the left of the lead motion controller and then the speaker pointable is just on the right of the lead motion controller so we will re recalibrate the media and the Spotify pointable to somewhere more convenient so to recalibrate it first of all you need to go to the configuration window which you can launch with the gear icon using the pointable configuration or you, if you like you can launch it using the uh, right click on the notification area and choose uh, the pointable configuration from the pointable icon. So once you launch it, you can select the media pointable and choose calibrate to recalibrate the position of the pointable. I will point near the deep motion controller at the position and stay stable. As you can see, if you have calibrated correctly, the pointable will show almost immediately. If not, you can just point around the area again to check whether the pointable is uh, clearly uh, clar calibrated. If not, you can always start restart calibration. So right now, I will calibrate for my Spotify pointable, which is uh, near my left speaker. So I'm using my watch here as a reference point to the Spotify pointable. So as you can recall, we have a productivity pointable here. So Pointable is very accurate. It can actually differentiate between these two objects. So we'll go ahead and calibrate for my Spotify Pointable. So again, point near to the deep motion controller using just one finger and stay stable. So as you can see, there are no Spotify Pointable uh, shown. No worries. We'll just point at the position again to see whether we can get the uh, Spotify Pointable. As you can see, I might need to do the calibration again. So point at this location. As you can see, I just calibrated somewhere here, which is slightly offset from my original location. So that means you might need to do a recalibration to get the position that you wanted. So we can always redo the calibration again. This time around, I'll point somewhere here. Okay, let's check it out. As you can see, I've just successfully calibrated it. So, um, with this, you can see we have uh, my so my productivity pointable here, my uh, Spotify pointable over here, and then we have our speaker pointable here, configuration over here, and we have just calibrated our media pointable here. So, with this, I would like to conclude our tutorial for. Calibrating a pointable.